Welcome back to another Good Good Labs video. In today's video, we are gonna discuss bunker shot. This is my favorite shot in golf, so hopefully I can give you guys a lot of key points on how to hit bunker shots. I need some bunker lessons myself, so hopefully Grant can get me dialed in. I know Michael loves hitting bunker shots. I think we all love being in the bunker. I mean, yeah. I think it's a fun place to be. You think you're in a, in a nice island paradise, then you look up and you see some grass, so it's not quite perfect. But hopefully you guys will enjoy this lesson. Thank you once again for all the love on this channel so far. You guys have been blowing this channel up. Hopefully yep. you guys have been watching it. Grant has been giving you some great lessons, and hopefully you guys are taking that to the golf course and playing some really good golf. They've been helping me. I know they've been helping some good, good members, so thanks again. Let's get this channel to 600 million subscribers. <laughs> Yeah, so everybody's gonna be hitting bunker shots today, but in the beginning here, I'm gonna go over exactly how I set up to a bunker shot and how I hit it. It's crazy because you're not actually hitting the ball, you're hitting the sand. Like I said, this is my favorite shot in golf. I've spent tons of hours hitting these shots and there's a few things that I've learned over the years. So, first thing for my bunker shot, when I get over the ball, I make sure immediately I have a very wide stance. My weight is left and my ball position is slightly forward. So, weight left, wide stance, ball position slightly forward and I'm going to swing slightly out to in. That's one thing. We want to be cutting across these shots slightly. So I'm going to go ahead, hit a couple shots. I'm not going to try and hit the ball. I'm going to actually try and hit right here, just behind the ball. Coming into the ball, weight left, ball position slightly forward. Face is going to be open, and I'm going to swing slightly out to in. Shots quick, and then we're gonna look at everybody else's form. That's what I, I love helping other people. I'm gonna take a look at everybody else. Weight left, out to end, ball position forward. Dude, the man is too good. Yeah. You guys wanna be trying to use this bottom part of the club called the bounce. We're sliding this part of the club across the sand. No digging, no short swings digging. We're sliding this bottom part called the bounce across the sand. All right, guys, here we go. Garrett is going to get up here first, and he's going to hit a bunker shot. I'm going to take a look at his form, see if I can offer any advice to him. I have to be the first to admit that I'm not very good out of bunkers. I'm just not. It's never been my strength, but hopefully uh, I can learn something. I already have, because typically I never think about almost feeling as if you're hitting across the ball right. a little bit. <laughs> just, slightly. just slightly. I don't want a huge out-to-end steep swing, but I want a slight out-to-end path. That doesn't mean I want to be digging huge trenches. Spin. That was great form, just too big of a swing. There was no need for that big of a swing. Last, that did come out not the same as like when I, because I tried to hit a little bit over it just a tiny just, bit. Yeah, slightly. And it came out really nice. Right, you want to aim a little bit left and swing across your feet here. Oh, Clark. There you go. Dude, that comes out so much better. Right. You guys are going to notice immediately his feet are aimed way left of the target because that has to offset the club face being wide open. So he's gonna aim super far left. He's gonna, the goal is, I want him swinging across this line with an open club face. There, that was the best one. Dude. Did you hear that sound? This yeah. is insane. You wanna hear that really nice thud sound. That means you're using the bounce properly. Dude, I'm, I'm just, all I'm gonna do is spend time in the bunkers after this, cause I'm not kidding. I had never heard that. I've never studied bunker shots too much, but as soon as Grant said that, it's crazy. It's, it's changed everything already. There you go. Oh, that sound right there is what you're searching for. See, he's not taking a super deep divot either. He's just picking it off the sand while coming slightly out to him. Here's See the it. deal. I'm probably one of the best bunker players in the group. All right, okay, yeah, everybody true. sit down. So here's what I do. I just get up and hit the ball. All right. We can get the speed up a little more, Steve. We can swing a little bit harder, open the face more, move your feet this way. We want this ball placement right about where you play a driver, right there. Because your goal right now is to be hitting just an inch behind the ball. That's where I want you to hit. Open that face, move your feet this way even more. There we go, there we go. Perfect. All right, I'm, I'm not good at bunker. Yeah, weight left. My and what I want you to feel, down. Steve, on these bunker shots is that you're getting a little bit steeper because you're kind of hitting the sand first and bouncing the club, mm -hmm. we gotta be swinging left. A little bit more out to in. Okay. Weight left, swing hard and trust it. There you go. Okay, that That's it. That, see, that is the worst part of my game is my bunker shots. Right. And 
just little tips like that can help you out. Just like I didn't aiming an inch behind the ball, I just hit, I just swing. That's right. what I do. You actually, that's the craziest part. A lot of people when they're hitting bunker shots, they try and hit the ball. You're actually trying to hit an inch behind the ball in the sand. So that was good, Steve. Thank you. I good. actually learned okay. something. Bubby's honestly really solid at bunker shots. I do enjoy bunker shots. Yeah. I don't know why. I've never learned them. I've never thought about them. I've just kind of hit the joint. That's interesting. That's crazy to think that people just get up and hit bunker shots because if I didn't know the correct way to hit them, I'd probably be sculling them and chunking them and everything. I love immediately how open he has that face. That's great. I love seeing that face wide open. That exposes the bounce. Pretty good. Still too much, but. Yeah. And he hit naturally, Bubby hit right behind the ball. He just did it. One thing I'm not good at though is I'm not good at not taking too much sand so I can spin it. I right. can hit the chunk bunker do, shots all the time. Right, that is a little bit on the steep side. So I would like to see you round it off more and not so steep. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Yep, shallow it out just a little bit, Louie. There you go. That might have more spin. That had a ton of spin. Yeah, ton that was just spin. too big of a swing. Yeah. yeah, Bobby has really good bunker shot form already. There's not much to change. He just gets a little too steep, takes a little bit too much sand. So there's a happy medium there, guys. You want to be steep enough, but you do not want to be taking too much sand. Know, All right, Tig, what goes through your head when you're hitting a bunker shot? I think something that he does, but I just don't know if he mentioned or not, is I really like to focus on, as I come into the sand, when I like don't hit it as well, is when the when the heel takes over a little bit, and that's where a lot of people like hit either thin or, you know, they go over the green. Right. So I do everything he said, but like the one thing that I just like focus on, I guess my trigger, is I, as I'm coming through the ball, I'm keeping that club face almost pointed to the sky, like the oh, whole that's, way. What Tig was just saying is he wants to feel that club face staying open through the ball. So we never turn those hands over, we keep that club face open and just pull to the left. And I like to feel a very stable lower body so I'm not feeling a lot of rotation. Right, and that's why you keep your weight on your left side and you keep it there the whole time. There we go. That's beautiful. Really good. Nice. That's, I mean, that's some really textbook bunker shot form by Tig right there because he get, he's good out of the sand, he gets up and down a lot, and he's also a really good golfer, so he's gotta be good at sand shots. Last but not least, my man Matt. Let's get off here, Matt. No, I've made a hole in one. All right. <laughs> that was good. Matt? That was really good. I want to see your weight just get a little bit more to your left side. Just okay. start with. Do that real quick. Get over the ball. And feel this weight more leaning into this. There we go. Okay. And now open the face. There we go. Just feel that weight a little bit more to the left. There you go. That's honestly some really, really good form right there too. Yeah, ball position's really good. Nice and forward, weight left. And one thing you'll notice, guys, Matt does not have his hands way ahead here like this. You do not want this in the bunker. You want that shaft completely up and down. The shaft needs to be going straight up and down because right. we're trying to use this bounce. I think what you can do, Matt, too, is take yep. a little bit longer of a backswing. Okay. And let the club flow a little bit more. Matt's only taking it really to here and then kind of jerking at it. He can take a little bit longer and flowing swing. Oh, okay, I like that. Now take it nice and long and flowing. Open okay. the face up more, weight left. There we go, good. Now take a long, flowing swing. There. That good. was the tempo. Man. If you guys noticed, Matt was a little bit shorter and jerked at it. That's yeah. why he was going long. That last one, he kept a smooth, tempo like that. took the club long enough so he didn't have to accelerate all right guys hopefully you did enjoy this video bunker shots are like i've said are my favorite shot absolutely love them i spent a ton of time hitting them and i think that's what will help you guys too is you got to come out here you got to come out to a practice area that has bunker shots and hit them because if you're not going to practice them you're not necessarily going to get better because they take time they're a finesse shot and um, they require a lot of a lot of practice so i will say right now bunker shots are 90 percent set up to the ball so if you get the setup correct and you go over those checkpoints you're going to have a lot greater chance for success out of the sand so if you guys haven't though hit that subscribe button we're offering free golf instruction not many places have that so hit that subscribe button guys we're gonna have a ton more content coming all right guys hopefully you did enjoy that till next time